All right, welcome back everyone. This will be the second episode in this uh, tutorial where we are processing this pressure vessel. So we did some defeaturing in the first one. Now we're gonna start mid-surfacing certain uh, features to see how that process goes. And uh, let's get started with the main body of it. So we're gonna select that and uh, mid-surface it. I'm going to start by selecting and hiding the rest. So I'm going to select, uh, let's see, the main body front, select, single select. So I'm going to select this item, right click, visibility, show selected only. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. Got rid of all the other stuff. So let's mid surface only this part. First, let's go ahead and measure what kind of thickness are we dealing with here. So zoom in up here to one of the edges. And let's see what the distance on point. So uh, this one, OK. And this one, OK. And you can cancel it out. So our distance is right here, 0 0.003. Good. So make, when we mid surface, we need this number, right, to make sure that we can include that kind of thickness. So let's go to geometry, yeah, mid surface, automatic. Let's select all. Make sure it's correct. Oh nope, it's not correct. It's selecting all the stuff that we hid el also, right? We don't want that. So let's do a box select. Box select. Include only these things. Let's see, now it's correct. Now it's correct. Okay. And here we said the thickness that needs to be included was 0 0.003, right? So let's just make it just a little bit bigger. So 0 0.035, let's say. Okay. Now everything is nicely mid-surfaced. We can go to geometry and see all our elements, but we can see these new ones. See mid-surface. These he just added them, so we can this in the on uh, visualize that, unclick that one, and see all we see now is all the mid-surfaced geometries that it created for us. Let's zoom in. Good, 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 good. Okay, now we can uh, go ahead and start the mid-surfacing all the smaller features. So Control Q, uh, to, to, to geometry all on, done. There you go. So now let's pick another piece and mid-surface it. Let's go with this one, for example, right? I'm gonna go through the same process, same steps. So make sure the solid selectors available. This one, I'm gonna do both of these at the same time. Let's uh, visualize. Oh, hold on, we are not in multiple select. See, so just select only one of them. So let's uh, go here and not single item, multiple items. Click on that. There you go. And there you go. now, see, both of them are selected. Good. And uh, right click, visibility, show selected only. Good. Nothing else. Right. Good. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to geometry and mid surface automatic. Oh, I forgot to measure the thickness. So measure. Let's see what this one. Okay, and this one. Okay, 0 0.015. And let's see this one. Are they the same? This one. Okay. This one. Okay. Also 0 0.15, so good. You can use the same value for both. So cancel that out. Back to the mid surfacing. So where are we selected surfaces for mid surface? So we need to select these. Let's do a box select. There you go. Okay. There you go. As we said 0 0.015, 0, 0.0. Let's put 16. 16. There you go. Okay. Let it do its thing. Here are the two 
original geometries if we click them off they should there should be our nice mid surface features right there you go we can tell that they are super skinny now and let's check the other one very good that's what we were looking for control Q visualize all done now I went ahead and I mid surface this and this with the exact same process if we want to take a look there you go you can see down there mid surface original and 19 this one turn this is the mid surface and this is the original geometry now let's take a look at this one at the top and the one it's, uh, that's on the side they are exactly kind of like the same nature so let's see what happens if we would uh, proceed the same way we were doing these so let's deselect here make sure that's selected this one this one and this one is selected visibility shown is selected right so there you go so we have three materials three solids this one the purple and the other green right there are three separate solids we are dealing with so I'm gonna go ahead and mid surface this automatic uh, box select okay this one I believe we measured it was 0 0.02 so z let's do 0 0.03 and mid surface good now we have mid surfaced it but let's see what happens if we hide the geometry and leave only the mid surfaced uh, areas what do you see there is massive gaps between all of them right so I'm not a big fan of this one so we need a different approach so I'm gonna do Control Z to get rid of our mid surfaces so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this top the lid and then we're gonna later enclose it the same way we're gonna enclose this and this okay so I'm gonna get rid of this one so it doesn't cause us any separation issues over there this one and this one okay and okay so now we just have the holes good but as we saw we also had a gap between this one and this one so in order to avoid that gap we're gonna go to geometry solid and addition right here add and we're gonna add this one and this one okay and now this these two became one piece let's do the same with the other one geometry solid addition this and this okay now we have one piece now if we mid surface these let's go ahead and do both of them at the same time so on select turn the solid select on so I want this one and see now I need to click only once and it selects both the pipe and the flange right click visibility show only selected there it is go to mid surface automatic this uh, no clear let's do box box select good okay 0. Point, what did you say zero three I believe okay and we have the mid surface is good you can see the scion line in the center good okay let's uh, make it uh, disappear the geometry nine and eight there you go and what do we see no more gap and we have a nice mid surfaced geometry now cool very good so now let's take a look at these two flanges on the side uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete the bases and extend the uh, flange all the way to the surface of the tank just so we can practice some different buttons and different features uh, for accuracy I would probably leave these two flanges 
the same as the three legs. These three legs are we not mid surfacing. We're gonna leave them solid features. So I would probably leave these ones as well to be just like those property wise when we're gonna mesh because everything we mid surface it's gonna be plate elements right but these ones uh, these ones these three the three legs gonna be solid elements so I would probably leave it and uh, join those with the solid elements but just for the sake of uh, practicing some different buttons here we're gonna delete and extend the surface so let's uh, mid surface them first probably it'll be easier to delete the bottom and then extend the one that we want come on there you go this one this one this one and this one visibility show only selected there you go let's do mid surface automatic box select everything here okay 0 0.03 we already checked the thickness of these was 0 0.02 so okay there you go there we have that uh, in the model tree we can see these are the two elements the the these are the two original geometries which I think I'm gonna go ahead and delete so we only have the mid surface left we're gonna delete all the geometries that we mid surfaced. We're only gonna leave the mid surfaced versions of them. So okay. So here there you go. Now we have these and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one completely. So we don't have that at all in the our uh, model anymore. We'll delete the surface, this one, and of course the other one. Okay. There you go. So now, if we want to visualize everything again, see, all we're going to do is simply just extend the flange all the way to meet the tank. Okay, but before I proceed, I'm going to go ahead and delete all the features that I don't want. I'm only going to keep the mid surfaced ones, right? The original geometries, I'm going to delete them because I don't want them to cause any complications or accidentally mesh them while I'm meshing or anything. So get rid of them. So let's select them. This one, this one, this one, this one, this, this one, right? Or oh, that one down there, uh huh. This one, this one, and this one, yeah. And these are all the legs. So I'm gonna keep those, these are gone, goodbye. There you go, the mid surfaced one remains. Everything that I see here, these need to be mid surfaced, right? Good, all good. Only the legs are the ones not mid surfaced. Good. Okay, back to our flanges. Now I can, the, the reason I deleted it, because I want to extend it to the mid surfaced feature, right? Not the original geometry's edge. So let's uh, go to meshing, edit geometry, go to washer, extend, extend to location. Let's see that one. We'll try that one. And uh, do this one, this one, and extend it to coordinate to extend to I want to pick something on point at distance of locate center locating work plane okay uh, nope I wanted to pick up something onto curve there you go that one how about that one on to curve all on curve come on. there you go that's what I wanted okay bam very good I'll take that Now let's do the same to the other one. So extend that one. This one is still selected, so let's go ahead and click the edge. This one should be still selected. OK. And OK. Boom. All right. Very good. I'm happy. 
now everything is mid surface that we wanted I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hide the three legs and combine all the mid surface uh, uh, solids that we have into one so let's go back to the model tree control Q all off done and I'm only gonna to, to, to actually it's better all on because it's better to hide these than all the mid surfaced ones right because there's a lot more of them this fillet what is this fillet oh that's okay that belongs to the leg good done so all these I want it to be one I don't want it to be so many feet pieces it's hard to handle so geometry solid addition box select from here to here okay very good and there you have it all those hundreds of pieces much better combined now let's see if we can do something with the legs too all on okay which one's which? I believe they might have. So this one is that. That's that. Oh, these are all one, two, three. Okay. So this one's one, two, and three. Okay, good. So what we could do, we will leave this box here. We're not going to remove it like above because this one's going to be solid elements. We're not going to mid surface this one. Okay. So. What you're gonna do, you're gonna combine this with this, and we're gonna glue this surface to this surface in order to attach them to each other. So let's go ahead and select uh, which one was gonna be. This one is uh, just make sure we select the same one to same one. Is it this one? Yeah, good. So we can combine these two. Solid, add. this one and that one okay that became one piece so this one and it's gonna be this one right here okay solid add Where is it? this one and that one okay and which one we didn't do this leg so geometry solid add this leg and that little flange there okay good now there you go all we have is four pieces to deal with we don't have so much good all right now I believe we are done with the featuring, mid surfacing, making sure that all the geometry is nicely set up. Now we need to take care of all the free edges and then we will be, we'll be ready for meshing. But that's going to be in the next video. So have a good one, everyone.